okay another application of dimension is to find the, the unit and dimension of a constant so we explain with this example if f is equal to gm1 m2 all over r square where f is the force of attraction between two masses m1 and m2 separated through a distance r state the si unit and the dimension of the constant g okay so this is what i'm going to do uh we can write this f is equal to g m1 m2 all over r square uh, we know the si unit of or we can just make g the the formula from here so we cross multiply when we cross multiply we have f r squared is equal to g m1 m2 then we divide both sides by m1 m2 m1 m2 so g is going to be equal to f r squared all over m1 m2 now we know that the unit of force is newton r stands for major which is the same as length so that will be meters then the square will be there divided by mass times mass they are both mass so mass times mass and the unit of mass is kilogram so that will be kilogram square so to, to write this correctly this will be written as newton meter squared per kilogram squared or you can write it newton per kilogram squared per meter squared this is one way you can write the unit you can also write the unit by expressing all of this in terms of their uh, dimension so what do i mean by that i mean that you can write this you know what the you can write this by using the dimension so you write g is equal to so i'm going to make um from here g is equal to f r square over m1 m2 m1 m2 so we can just from here include that dimension the dimension of force is mlt minus 2 times r squared is l squared that's length divided by m times m that's uh mass times mass that'll be m squared so you can see that this can be reduced this can cancel out this we are left with 1m so this will be l times l that's l raised to power l squared that's l raised to power 3 and we we'll have t raised to power minus 2 when this goes up it becomes m raised to power minus 1 and you know that we start we might start with minus so we can write this as m minus 1 l 3 t minus 2 so this is the dimension of g this is the dimension of g but with the dimension of g we can also write the use this to write the formula okay so this is going to be equal to so the unit of ma mass is kilogram that's per kilogram then the unit of l is m that's meters then the unit of time is seconds square so we can express the unit of g in terms of this or we can also express the unit of g in terms of this but the si unit this is actually the si unit if the unit is expressed in terms of this see a very correct one and so this is the dimension so what you just do is to make g the subject of formula there you work out the dimension